Watch the entire video my lovely viewers, I mean from start to finish, to get the whole thing. Without wasting much of your time, let's get right into it. Hi lovely viewers, it's me again, your one and only Mtati Mpundu. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time on my channel, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel by hitting the red subscribe button down below and turn the bell icon to join the notification squad. Don't forget to like, share and leave a comment. Tell me what you think about this video in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you lovely viewers. And for us as politicians, this is a very sad development when you can see citizens being harassed, citizens, a woman like me being put in prison, leaving my children, my husband, my grandchildren outside for a crime I never committed, for not reporting a crime, it's very, very sad. But God is in control. Bring down the get. Excuse me. So, we are earlier told that the police are going to. Uh, we are told that the police officers are going to put the, 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 the way in. To ensure that they tell. They said uh, daughter run it. So this is a picture that you're getting from here. Can you imagine? the same. I was a picture of the Yeah. President ECAO has got your constitutional immunity. Yes. The rubbish which is happening here is uncalled for. Come to Parliament. Come to Parliament and remove his immunity. That's when you can come here and do this rubbish. This is our country. 
down the ghetto, they were in the first entry uh, to ensure that they tow, they say the tow tyrannics, uh, before it had been stolen car. And uh, uh, he, why, the former head of state, uh, Mr. Lungu, is uh, the to be in the first and as you can see, the officers um, are slowly packing up. Threatening to bring down this gate, which also leads inside the other uh, side of the uh, ECL Senyat. So this, uh, this is the second gate. There is actually the first gate on the other side. As it stands, the situation looks a bit tense. We never know probably what the police officers are thinking to disperse everybody who is here this morning. Because the number now has built up and probably in situations like this, to keep calm, um, we, might, we must brace ourselves for a situation. As it stands now, we're supposed to be ready to ensure that uh, this situation is uh, brought to come. Uh, 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 what is happening here is illegal. Illegal. Let's not do illegal things alone. Let me use my to do the. Let me use your days are up. Hey, wrong. Is that wrong? Don't be used. Who will do any wrong there? From the time they came in, not only what did you die? I am better this month. Next month, I'm a capere. No sense. Go to parliament and remove his immunity. Stop the nonsense. This, this is total lawlessness. Uh, we are in a country of laws. We are in a country of laws and standing on behalf of members of parliament, if at all present Haka in the Ichilema has any problem with uh, uh, President Lungu or they, if they think he has committed any offense, let them come to parliament. We debate the matter and the immunity to be removed. We cannot be going through this embarrassment. It's total embarrassment, first of all, not only to the family of the former president, but to the government itself. After the summit, especially. We held what they called the Democratic Summit not very long ago, uh, where colossal sums of money were spent, and we expected this country to begin to proceed in an orderly manner, following the laws. The president is always talking about the rule of law. What rule of law do we have here? There is nothing. They are trying to find every excuse to embarrass President uh, Edgar Chagwalungu. This is a court. And we are saying as members of parliament, we will not allow this. We stand ready, as I have said before, we are ready to lay our lives in defense of our constitution and in defense of our democracy. Lawless and to not, will not be allowed. So we are now here and we are ready to face the police. Yes. We are ready to face the police yes. head on. Yes. Because if they impeach the constitution, we are ready to defend ourselves. Yeah. That's the reason why we, we are here. I think uh, the constitution has to be respected. No single day has Akainde Ichinema announced to this nation that uh, President, uh, President, uh, uh, President uh, uh, Lungu, the immunity has been removed. In as far as we are concerned, this immunity is still there, it's still strong. So what is this nonsense? Because they have come to his residence. His residence is part of the immunity. It means that no one can break into his house unless the immunity has been removed. And in any case, has he or has the wife been called to the police to go and explain what they are looking for? So I find this very, 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 very,
stop this. Stop abusing power. Power comes and power goes. What are they doing here? First of all, I think like my colleagues have said. shouldn't use other means. We have told them before in Parliament that let them be clear on what they want to do. You can't use the president's wife as a pretext to strip him of his constitutional bestowed immunities. It doesn't work. So they let them do the right thing. Strip him of his immunities, then they can do whatever they want to do. But to breach the constitution and fashion is unacceptable. And I think we uh, here as uh, members of parliament uh, who have been waiting for the state to make a move. So anything else that needs to be they're going to do here is an act of illegality. And we shall see. The president is being said today. <laughs> The president, who is the only, only former president out of the five we have had, out of the six we have had, there is another one coming. The sitting head of state is in state house, having the same immunities. And what he's setting up today might be something to follow him. So, I think to those that are operatives, you need to understand that we were there today, yesterday. I was Minister of Home Affairs. There's another one today. It's all of duty. So there's nothing permanent. The only thing that is permanent is time. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Ah, ah, I tell you. Now, Mr. Now, Mr. You see, Zambians, from a long time, you have been calling me names. I used to tell you that you have a kind of chilema. You are a dictator. I've been saying this. This man is a dictator. And surely, if you look at what is happening here, look at what is happening here. Where did you see, in a democratic country, a former president with immunity being called with this tow truck to break in the residence of a former president who has immunity. They are jokers. We are not asking for anything, but we are asking for them to follow the law. If this former president has got an issue, what they are supposed to do is to go to parliament, lift his immunity, and then they can access his premises. Whatever they are saying to say, no, this one, they are the wife, whatever, this property, as it is, the one who owns it, He's a tenant, he's a former president, and therefore it is it is surrounded by that immunity. If these people go inside, how do we know what they are going to plant? Because for me, I believe that these people want to plant something inside which they are going to use now, Parliament, to remove his immunity. Because if it is really not about ill intent, ill intent they would have summoned his lawyers to come to force headquarters and have a discussion here. Not this. This is war. This is war. Zambians, when are you going to wake up? When are you going to realize that you elected a dictator? This is dictatorship. Nothing else. When you suspend the law, they have suspended the law. Yes. The law is not working here. The law is not working. These police officers are here. They are illegal. Whoever signed 
with the warranty, it doesn't matter because the immunity stands. That is our point. The immunity stands. Anything else is illegal. It is dictatorship. This is on you. This is on you. This is on you. You wanted to assassinate me so that you can silence people. No one can talk because you want to continue that such kind of things. It is illegal. It is dictatorship. This is DJ Mutati exclusive. All right, that's all right for you today, lovely viewers. If you did enjoy the video, please don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below. Tell me what you think about the video you just watched in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you, lovely viewers. Once again, I go by the name of Mutati Mpondum. I love you. Peace. I gotta go.